Hey there guys, Fat Guy's back. I wanted to do a small video today. You guys remember this, uh, this knife as you would get it from Old Hickory? It's, uh, you know, just the way you would normally get it, how you would find any frontiersman or something, buddy, carrying this thing. Uh, forgive any shaking, I'm sorry, at this point. The kitty is around the uh, tripod. I have no idea what comes next. But, <clears throat> you know, this is my 7-inch old hickory knife. You remember I made a video on that. If not, you can find it pretty easily. But uh, the reason I'm showing this to you again, because obviously it doesn't have as many pits and patina as it's going to later in life is because I got this bad boy in now out of almost a century of people using old hickory knives as bushcraft knives even though that's not what they were meant for uh, the Ontario knife company actually decided to uh, you know release an old hickory knife that is meant for what people have been using it for and I just got this today so it's only been in and out of the sheath a few hundred times uh, but how about we get them close together so you can actually see the comparison now this is the uh, 5 inch or 5.5 inch hunting knife I do believe is what they call it but it's an old hickory knife as you can tell they only made a few modifications for use in the field one is obviously it's shorter a little less wieldy there uh, as you can see the spines are about the same width, or the, you know, the blades are about the same width, all the way down. Handle's pretty much the same size. However, they did grind down the spine, as opposed to this, which does kick up a uh, good ferro rod in its own right. It was never meant for that. This, they actually did it on purpose. And the major difference between the two is the clip point. Now you notice these two points differ, but they're not too far off from each other. However, this one is ground in the back to come to a complete point. So therefore this knife can be used for a lot of things that this knife would have a hard time at if it could do it all. Which one would you rather try and drill with? And of course, being an old hickory knife, Let's go to the point I'm not trying to chop my hand off. Comes from the factory. Razor sharp. Let's try this at a different... Just so it doesn't look like a idiot did that. Even though an idiot did, did that. Alright. But, and the big major thing that they did with this knife that they've never done with a knife before, or at least an old hickory knife, uh, 
Oriental makes a lot of different kind of knives, and a lot of them are survival. But their sheath. This is a no frills sheath. This whole knife goes for about $25, and I think it's because it's a complete package with a really good knife. And of course, all American made. Although I have no idea about the sheath, it may be imported. Uh, but the rest of it's American made. Good stitching, it feels like. Uh, not a kind of sheath that I would prefer for this knife, but it works. Uh, yeah, once this wears down a little bit, it'll be a nice tight fit. And of course, no retention, but that thing's not going anywhere. Anyway, I just wanted to show that to y'all. My new knife. Can't wait to get this bad boy out in the field. This one will probably stay on a on a bag or something. But it'll still get some use. Anyway, that's it. I hope you all learned something. Uh, not knowing what there is to learn here. But anyway, y'all have a good night.